weeks after the elections in Kogi and Bayosa states, the National Assembly is reacting to the violence that occurred. Complicit in the violence in the House of Representatives, raised as a matter of urgent public importance, the deputy minority leader expresses worry that despite the deployment of over 65,000 policemen for the elections, there were still significant cases of violence leading to deaths. While the police says it has arrested six suspects in the case of the murder of the PDP women leader in Kogi State, the lawmakers believe an investigation by the House is still necessary. They have results to constitute a joint committee to investigate the pre- and post-election security breaches in Kogi and Bayelsa, including the alleged presence of fake police officers. Our children are asking questions about why elections held in 1963 will not be different from elections held in 2019. I condemn what has happened, if at all it happened, but I think we should be fair to allow a good reasoning, a good investigation from the police first so that we can get the root of the matter. A minute of silence is observed for those who lost their lives during the elections as the speaker charges the committee to make no reference to any political party in its report. Just the facts of what happened without reference to any political party so that that such is not used against whether it's PDP or APC in court. Page 430. Meanwhile, when the matter is raised in the Senate, the majority leader proposes a bill to check election violence. This negative effect of electoral violence in the country will continue to reduce the citizens' confidence in the democratic process, as well as heighten the fears of possible democratic collapse. If the minority leader and myself can come up with a bipartisan bill to look at the punishment for electoral violence, and prescribe a legal regime that's going to be able to address it. I believe that those who perpetrated the violence, especially in the last uh, elections in Belsa and Kwagi, should be apprehended and prosecuted. Political analysts and security experts have warned of dire consequences if the growing violence experienced before, during and after elections is not checked. <laughs>